This episode of Film Ride is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Ride, Jets and Sound Design with Pitchbender. Logo. Welcome to Film Rise, the show takes mystery and the effects techniques going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and today we got some stuffs to talk about. Like, good stuff, so let's do it. That's it? I didn't know how to transition into it. I'm nervous. Take your pants off! The f***? So before I get started, full disclosure, Andrew Kramer is a friend of mine, but he did not ask me to do this episode and we are not receiving any money whatsoever for talking about this product. These are 100% my personal opinions. With that said, Video Copilot has released something awesome yet again, which frankly, I'm getting sick and tired of their awesomeness. It gives the rest of us an inferiority complex. Because you have a small pee pee? What? No. By the way, it's about time for lubrication, isn't it? Shall I check? It's overtime. That new thing in question is this, the Jet Strike Pack, which are a bunch of great jet models, everything from commercial airliners to fighter jets and drones. Now these models can be used in whatever, but I am not a 3D artist, so to use this, I'll be cracking open Element 3D and After Effects, which really is why I get so excited about their stuff. Element 3D and the additional products that they are putting out for it make it possible for people like me to explore even more capabilities in the types of creative work that we do. Now I'm not going to show you how to use it since we did an episode on using Element 3D to put objects into your scene which you could find right here. And this is basically just using Element 3D with these new models. But there are some new things with this like the fact that once you have the model you want there are a number of rigging capabilities built right in so you can animate things on the model like the wheels or the weapons bay all right here in the effects panel which is glorious. So it's as easy as bring in your footage, then make a solid, add Element 3D to that inside of Element 3D, we pick our jet, do some masking, add some lights and color grade, and we're done. I'm always talking about tools that get out of your way and let you be creative. This is definitely another big step in that direction for me. Another thing that they came out with alongside the Jet Strike Pack is the flight kit, which comes with explosion assets, sky maps, and a ton of aircraft sound effects, which are pretty great, actually, and a new plugin called Heat Distortion. This is a plugin that gives you that warped, heated air look, similar to what we do with turbulent displacement. Turbulent displacement, turbulent displacement. But it's actually 10 times better. And there you go, Jet Strike and Flight Kit, both of which are must-haves in my book. And I know I didn't give a tutorial here. I just wanted to make you guys aware of this. If you want to learn how to use it, Andrew has a page set up called Flight School where there's a bunch of in-depth tutorials on how to get amazing shots with these bad boys. So go here and check that out. If you want a website of some kind to get yourself on the interwebs, you need a domain name, you need a web hosting, you put those things together, you have a website, and you could, you could put yourself out there. Perhaps you want a companion of some kind. Alien. A, or a cat. An alien cat. An alien cat companion. ACC. You want an alien cat companion. Well, they're higher life forms. They're constantly surfing the interweb. So if you make yourself a website with a domain name and a web hosting from domain.com, you can put yourself out there and you can, you can sync up. With, with an ACC. A with an ACC that's right for you, my friend. So use domain.com. They, they're affordable. They're easy to use. They got that domain discovery service to help you pick the right name for you, like aliencatcompanion.com, right? Plus, Perfect. we can get 25% off your order. That way you could save money for when your alien cat companion moves in with you. 25% by using the coupon code TRICKY25. This only lasts till November 30th, so jump on it right now so you can get an ACC of your own. Because when you think of domain names, think domain.com. Logo. Last week we talked about pitching a voice down to get a demon voice, but I wanted to touch on pitch bending a bit more since that's a great way to get interesting sounds for your film. I actually use this technique a lot. It's just not usually the forefront sound. It's often something that's more in the background or layered underneath other sounds to fill it in, make it sound more convincing. Here's an example of the type thing that you can do. We'll take the same screaming sound that I used for that demon voice episode. <laughs> 
Then I bring it into my audio editor of choice, which for me is Audition, and then I will select the pitch bender effect, which this one I can do custom envelopes to create whatever ramping or pitch I want. So if I drag it all the way down here, we get a very low tone. <laughs> If I drag it up, we're gonna get a very high one. And this one, unlike the effect that we used last week, will change the duration of your clip. So for instance, if I toss in my dialogue here, to ask its intentions, we don't just make it deeper, we also make it slower and vice versa if we drag it up. This is how you would get that slow-mo voice. Cow spine. <laughs> Back to the scream. If I drop the semitone way down with this scream, we end up getting this almost oscillating sort of engine sound, maybe? So once I hear that, I'm thinking maybe I could turn this into an underbed sound of some kind of aircraft picking up speed, maybe a spaceship of some kind, something outer-worldly. So I'll bring it down low, then when I want it, I'll keyframe it up just by clicking and pulling the envelopes up to ramp the speed, and now we have this. Now that I have that backbone, you can add other effects like distortion, reverb, or whatever else you think will help this until you have something that is completely unlike what you originally started with. So take some sound and start messing with the pitch and see what kind of ideas you can get. I find that just toying around with different things like this, different techniques, will often lead me to great ideas or concepts for full projects. Plus. It's just fun. Well, Barney and Betty seem to be having a lot of fun, don't they? But that's it for today. Don't forget about the MOGA contest. It's happening right now. It started two days ago, so it's not too late. You can jump on it right now. You have a chance to be one of six people that will win a red Scarlet or the one that wins 25 freaking thousand dollars. So go here. I know you guys can do it. I believe in you. It's glorious. And I'll see you next week when I sit in a bath of rose petals. <laughs>